again interesting thing. Type 2 control has no relationship with manifestation. So now, a quick point. Yeah, it's not coming. 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 काम चल जाएगा, टाइम हो जाएगा ना, मैं नाम मिलना है ना, फर्स्ट का वो। हाँ, यस। वेरी गुड। सो दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग। डायबिटीज, सो दे आर डिफरेंट सिचुएशन। इफ देर इज डायबिटीज इन यू थायराइड इंडिविजुअल, सो एस सच देर इज नॉट मच अल्ट्रेशन इन थायराइड प्रोफाइल। डायबिटीज इन हाइपर थायराइड इ meal hyperglycemia and another important thing is increased incidence of dystopic optic retinopathy. So this is uh, not a very commonly discussed thing. Hyperthyroidism is there and there is a, it is gradually going down but in the range and, and if you notice as the FT3 has gone down the retinopathy worsens. So there is some relationship of retinopathy and the thyroid disorders also. Hypothyroidism and complications of type 2 diabetes. So interesting, increased risk of nephropathy was shown in type 2 diabetes with subclinical hypothyroidism. So subclinical hypothyroidism, keep a watch and don't take it out. Treating hypothyroidism improves renal function in diabetes. So that is another important thing. Diabetic patient with subclinical hypothyroidism have more severe retinopathy than euthyroid patient. Another important clue. Frequent hypoglycemia that I shared with you. A word about cancers. Thyroid cancer risk is 20% in diabetics. So diabetics are more prone for certain cancers. I think colonic cancer, Dr. Mishra will be aware, it is much more. But thyroid cancer also increases. And risk is increased among women, but not among men. As usual, all the thyroid disorders. So what to do with the screening of subclinical hypothyroid. So this was the old, so if you look at the thyroid functions, euthyroid and the overt, overt hypothyroidism has to be treated and if there is subclinical hypothyroidism and if there is antibody positive, we need to keep a close track and if PSH is more than 10, in any case you have to treat. And euthyroid with type 2 diabetes and if PSH is more than 2, you have to repeat PSH annually. That keep in your mind, you need to tell to the patients. And if PSH is less than 2 and TPO negative, then I think you need not follow as frequently. Type 1 diabetes, annual TSH, um, and other celiac disease screening is important. What are the management? Hyperthyroidism with diabetes, standard management, like antithyroid drugs, if you look at the hyperthyroidism, Radioactive iodine is our surgery. I think I'll not be going into detail, but what is important is if you look at subclinical thyrotoxicosis, if PSH is 0 0.1 to 0 0.4, should be considered for treatment with history of coronary artery disease, stroke, or atrial fibrillation. So this is, again, a, a very important part. Hypothyroidism, if subclinical hypothyroidism more than 10, it should be treated. T4 treatment improves lipid profile and reduces insulin resistance. But some people write thyroid as So hypothyroidism, a clear cut word, there is no role of nuclear scan or any type of scan. So please don't advise any nuclear scan if there is hypothyroidism. Anti-diabetic medicines, metformin, it reduces CSH level in thyroid, subclinical hypothyroidism and overt hypothyroidism, no effect of free T3 and T4. What is important is metformin affects uh, uh, thyroxine absorption, so it should not be given together. And by and large, it is not given, but some people are conditioned to take simultaneously all medicine because altroxin or thyroxine we always give one hour uh, uh, before any empty stomach. And what is interesting is uh, metformin reduces medullary uh, thyroid carcinoma growth and possibly on other thyroid cancer. So it has a protective role. They say, what is the problem in the allopathic drug? It doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Other agents, sulfonylurea, as such, no effect on thyroid function test. PPR gamma, especially the pyoglitazone, they stimulate TSS uh, receptor expression and it leads to increased fibroblast and adipose tissue stimulation in orbit. 
So it should not be given in Graves' orbitopathy. So if there is a thyrotoxicosis and diabetes, and both are independently associated, avoid giving glitazones. Anti-diabetic medicine in thyroid functions, GLP receptor agonists we have been talking. Animal models, there are reports of medullary thyroid carcinoma. So if there is family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma, avoid giving GLP-1 receptor agonists. Insulin as such is a safe, I'll not be going into uh, details. What to do with anti-diabetic? T-set should be monitored after starting metformin treatment in subclinical hypothyroidism. So this is uh, important. Pyglutazone should not be given in Graves' orbitopathy. And GLP-1 receptor agonist should not be given with personal or family history of medullary thyroid carcinoma. Sometimes insulin doses may be increased with hypothyroid patients. In cases of ketose doses, thyroid function test should be considered even with little suspicion. Use of statin should be considered after making patient euthyroid from hypothyroidism. So, ghar ke liye Shubhra Didi ne message kaha tha ki likhe bheji to mene likha hai aap sab, sab logo ke liye ghar ke message to ye ghar ke liye message ek likha hai humne aap sab logo ke liye ki yaad rakhi ga kal subhe tak to kaam ho jayega I think still we have two minutes Thyrotoxicus and diabetes relationship is more than a coincidence Hypothyroidism and diabetes pathogenic relationship is there Subclinical hypothyroidism to overt hypothyroidism and pre-diabetes to diabetes conversions are increased in presence of both the disorders. So if there is a hypothyroid and patient is having pre-diabetes, the chances of conversion to overt diabetes is much more. And in diabetic patient, if there is a subclinical hypothyroidism, chances of conversion to overt hypothyroidism is also. So both do dushman milke dusro ka burai karte hain. So finally, I think this is my entire team which whom I have been working for last almost two and a half, three decades. This is my entire team. So I will not be going into detail because I have to save time. India kept us on and hoge honge. And this picture I took in the COVID time and it was, a, it was a beautiful time. Everything was heavy. During work I saw this tree and I paid cut rata, hum log cut rahe the, hum log mar rahe the. But life never stops. So are we. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rishi. So and, after and 19 overs, of, India is 106 for one. Uh. Shubman Gill out on 31. Rohit Sharma still going strong and 69. Uh, one minute, slide. Uh, one minute, one minute. 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 One all of all, all, all of all, all of your all of your invited and sixth and seventh December. This is a national meeting we have been holding in city of Kanpur. So city the city should be proud of. This is tie up karke hai. So we have formed a group comprising all the doctors taking care care of type one patients. So whether family doctor, physicians, diabetologists, endocrinologists, pediatric endocrinologists, pediatricians. So this is one group inclusive of dietitians, educators, and all advocates. So we are meeting on 6th and 7th. So those who are interested, please block their dates. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Please, over to you. Any questions from the audience? Subclinical hypothyroidism and diabetes. You did elaborate a little bit, but what are the management issues? I think the, the guidelines are same. If there is subclinical hypothyroidism, if it is less than 10, it should not be treated. But one has to keep a very close watch because chances of converting to overt hypothyroidism is much more compared to and normal problem. And annual TSH and annual, annual TSH or, or jaldi bhi kara sakte ho. So that is important. And if TSH is more than 2 and TPO positive, then you should be careful also. Sir, if the patient is showing the symptoms of weight gain, constipation, dry skin, and all that, and patient is also even panic, that my TSH is so low, and you have started the thyroid thyroid, in spite of TPO negative. So, so actually, the one entity we always say, I mean, uh, if you look at the science, 
the increased weight gain is associated with subclinical hypothyroidism. So this is the scientific data. But by giving treatment, the weight reduction is not there. So that is a thing. If you look at the recommendations, as a clinician, you are better judged than the recommendations. So if you feel that patient has a very strong symptoms and he or she are likely to be benefited, you should give a trial of therapy. What to do? <laughs> what to do when patient is having subclinical hypothyroidism and pre-diabetes? What are the recommendations? Pre-diabetes and actually again, 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 you have to be really careful. For is there any role of metformin? <laughs> actually, pre-diabetes there have been number of trials with metformin, but metformin taking care of hypothyroidism is not very clear. But now what we do? We try to grab patients either in pre-diabetes or early diabetes and try to push them back diabetic to make them pre-diabetes, pre-diabetes to make them euglycemic or non-diabetic. So as much as you can. But because then, then I'm, I'm coming to science, then the leptin expression would be lesser. Chances of conversion to uh, high subclinical to overt hypothyroidism would possibly be lesser. So is there any role of metformin to prevent the subclinical hypothyroidism? I think there are no recommendations, yes, but it is up to your clinical wisdom you can use it. But for pre-diabetes, you can always use metformin. There, there are trials. Is there any role of metformin for the subclinical hypothyroidism? I can't say. Okay, I, I can't because it's not yet recommended. Thank you. <laughs> Just to add, sir, uh, sir, there are some. Ha ha. Are there person? Bolo, bhai. Ha. So there. Are there some? Ha ha. 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 Are Haan, bhai, isko uh, haan, sir, there are some studies recommending uh, metformin as a cause of, uh, as a form of treatment for pre-diabetes. It does not affect directly, but it has some inherent mechanism that can uh, correct pre uh, subclinical hypothyroidism. Not full-fledged data is available. Uh, it is up upon the discretion upon uh, of the physician to uh, give it or not. Theoretically, as discussed with you, the, the expression would be uh, lesser uh, leptin or. Ajay sir. <laughs> Over dinner, Dr. Gupta. Thank you. the end of the session I must you know, thank everyone the attendance has been phenomenal despite having this match we crossed 150 now uh, I must thank that Nehru for uh, giving the backbone support for this conference that is Shripad who made all the efforts to go to Lucknow to talk to the speakers that Shubra who was looking into the scientific sessions but it was that Ranjana who looked into the uh, anchoring part and I am very thankful to her and then, uh, of course, it is the Team Solaris, the division of Sun, particularly Aditya, Aditya Jaiswal. He did a very hard work and his team to good do the conference a success. And Mr. Patak, who has come all the way from Mumbai, has been a backbone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, friends. See you next time.
So on behalf of all the audience who's present here, instead of watching the uh, Champions Trophy, a big three cheers to the team Gastro Liver Hospital, Dr. V.K. Mishra, Dr. Shripad, Dr. Shubhra, Dr. Neeru, and of course the Sampras team. Thank you very much and we hope that we'll have more of these clinical updates. Thank you. Thank you. And not on the day when we are having the final with New Zealand. No way, no way. We'll look into it. We'll look into it.